This is Alan Stang. Stick around. Yesterday, as you will recall, your reporter promised to bring you taped highlights of his conversation with the anti-communist who used the name Michael Golanievsky, who became one of the top officials of the communist Polish secret police, who fed continuous information about the communist secret police to the West, and who was the agent who successfully exposed Henry Kissinger as a Soviet agent. Here, then, is Colonel Michael Golanievsky. They had documents, original documents, proving that Kissinger was, at this time, Soviet agent. Now, this have you got those documents? Well, I brought the documents, I gave them these documents years ago in 61. They didn't do nothing about this matter whatsoever. Do, do you have copies of those documents? Well, I will have the copies of these documents. You uh, do have copies? Yeah, I will have the copies, yes. Now, now these documents that you have prove on paper that Kissinger is a Soviet agent. Oh, yes, I brought them a copy of documents. As I brought them 5,000. I brought them, the CIA got from me about 5,000 pages of top secret and secret communist documents. And 5,000 pages, it's a quite a lot of, of, of things. But you see, <clears throat> in order you understand, in the first place, at this time, I learned about Sergeant Kissinger. Sergeant Kissinger was for me a quiet nobody. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know was he Jew or was he German or what hell he was. What I knew that he got to be for one reason or another involved in, in Continental Germans Smirsch Network of the Soviets under the code name Bohr. And it happened, you see, sometimes in Germany after he came with the American army. You see. And in 61, for me, it was one of 100 cases. I didn't pay yes. no attention, you see. Yes. Such cases, uh, they, they, they really existed hundreds, you see. Well, of course, in 61, he was simply a, a Harvard professor. Yeah, well, now, they began to identify. <laughs> they began, and they told me, well, uh, what, what's so important about him? He is someplace in university. Well, later, we will work on this. But they never did, you see. <clears throat> it is a whole story. They played this case from one hand to another. You would have to go elaborating the story and the whole condition of the cooperation between me and CIA after I came to this country. So as you just heard, the courageous Colonel Golanievsky reports that he saw documents which proved that Henry Kissinger was a Soviet agent, that those documents still exist, and that today Golanievsky is able to produce copies of those documents. And probably more important than anything else, he reports, as you see, that the Central Intelligence Agency, which the national press tells us is a right-wing extremist organization, has apparently been doing everything it can to prevent the truth about Henry Kissinger from being revealed to the American people. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking with Colonel Michael Golanievsky, the name used by the courageous anti-communist who exposed many Soviet agents in the West, including Henry Kissinger. Be with me tomorrow for more. This is Alan Stang. Think about it. The Alan Stang Report is produced by the John Birch Society Features.